the big problem that Street Fighter V had in terms of its visuals is that some parts of this game animate and are rendered like character visuals, some of the best in the industry. Actually, some of the best of any 2D fighting game there is, right? Some of this game is some of the, the best in the industry. However, it also has a compliment that other aspects of Street Fighter V are but f***ing ugly. To the point where it's like, it gives the game this very negative impression, but then you look at some other aspects of characters and they look so good. Like these two characters don't even, their faces don't even look like they came from the same game. I'm gonna make a Street Fighter tier list based on strictly visuals. Strictly how cool do they look? I'm not even talking about gameplay. I'm not even talking about gameplay, just based on like the history of them showing up in the game, how cool they look, how much impact their moves have, you know, stuff like that. Just Street Fighter V, just Street Fighter V. And if there's like a top tier mother in this game that looks super cool, that I and my brain immediately goes to, oh, this character is sick. Uh, Ziku, it looks sick. He looks cool. His old version looks cool. His young version looks cool. His animations are dope. Yeah, Zeku for sure. Another character that looks cool, absolutely. These are characters that I don't even play. Another character that looks incredibly cool and animates incredibly well. I'm looking for her. There we go, Minot. Minot looks amazing. Jesus, man. How does this character look so damn cool? Uh, and you know what? I'll also give it up to uh, another character that immediately pops to my head that animated well and had really cool looking moves, but to me just wasn't super fun. Uh, shockingly, Jury, right? Can we all agree here? Jury looks great. Her face, her her uh, the way her body proportions are, the way she twists and bends, the way her attacks look, she looks great, dude. Holy shit, what a cool looking character. I mean, granted, she's she feels like she's missing some stuff and she, for a long time, did feel like she was like half a character. But visually, great job, like, damn, really good. What other characters can we stick at the top? I think Cammy, right? I think Cammy could go at the top too. Cammy's sick looking. She it looks great. No, I don't think I have any issues with the way Cammy's animations are, or her moves, or anything like that. And then Chun-Li obviously as well. Chun-Li might arguably look better in this game in 3D than she's ever looked in 3D. Pretty good, pretty good, right? It's weird that a lot of the female characters end up coming out on top right now. And you know what? Isn't a character that I play, isn't a character that I have any interest in playing, a couple of characters here that visually look great, bam, bam. Get it, I get it, Birdie's gross, Right, I get it, Birdie is gross. And he's a big fat dude and I eat a donut and all this dumb shit. But his moves and his animations, the, the weight of his attacks, it's great. Shit looks really damn good. This is, this is extremely well animated. The chain clipping is one thing. Every character has that problem, right? That's just, an, that's just an issue with the whole game. We're making a tier list based on strictly visuals, right? Because Street Fighter V has such a, a big disparity of how cool characters either look or animate, just visually look great or look really bad. We're making a tier list based on that alone. And you know what? You know what I think is another character that also looks friggin' fantastic and does a really good job in the game at just looking cool. Rashid. I think Rashid's a great character. Looks great. Animations are super cool. The Rashido does a very good job. Bison, uh... How do you guys feel on Bison? It's a much different Bison, right? I think Bison's good. I think, I'm sorry, I think Bison for me would go like here. I think he's really good. I don't think Ryu is a, a shining pinnacle example. I think some of the stuff on him looks really cool, but I think he just goes down in the great category, right? He looks okay. I mean, he looks he looks great. I think Ryu looks great. He could be better. He could be better, but it's all right. And you know what? I'd also probably put uh, this character looks great. That's an easy one. Yurian animates and looks friggin' fantastic, right? Animates and looks fantastic. He goes in World Warrior. Yeah, that's why Ryu isn't at the top. He has he has a couple of awkward awkward looking moves. But you know what? An, a, the other character that honestly looks fucking super good, and I think is a great redesign of um, his overall character archetype. I think I think Ash here, man. I think what they did to Charlie uh, in the story was stupid. 
but I think what they did to him in terms of the way he looks and his sick ass pose and the, the way they changed his attack style and everything, dope, right? I'm down with Charlie transformed into Nash. I think that's I think that's a great looking character. Like I said, we have a lot of shit up here that looks great. Like like I said, there's a very large chunk of Street Fighter V that is like best in class visual acuity of the fighting game genre, especially 2D fighting games. Some of this stuff looks friggin' great. And I think G also belongs up here. I think I think G has sort of cemented himself as being like the crazy wild card weirdo character. I think this this guy was like, what the fuck are we looking at when when he showed up? What are are you guys smoking some crazy shit and then sticking the shit you smoked into other crazy shit and then smoking that shit? What the fuck am I looking at? And then eventually he takes over the world because he's super interesting. He's got he's got a great great visual design, great move set. I think honestly, like there, there's a lot of characters in this game that are like half mo-capped where you can really feel the mo-cap in their movements and sometimes that is a bit of a detriment in terms of some characters for example like sakura and cody you can feel a bit too much of their mocap, even though a lot of them is hand animated obviously a lot of g is motion captured i don't think that's a, a negative element when it comes to the way he looks and the way his visual design is you know what i think i'll also give it up to balrog i think balrog is a very well animated good looking heavy character Right? I think this is a very cool version of him as well. A better evolution of his just like ripped shorts gym look. I think they did a damn good job on Balrog. To the same degree, I think they did a damn good job on Armika. I think Armika looks more visually interesting than she did in Street Fighter Alpha 3. Has more cool moves and has more weight to her attacks. I think Mika looks really damn good. Really damn good. We're starting to get to the meat and bones here. And now we can also consider, which is possibly the best looking uh, Shoto in the game. Ah, I can't put Akuma up there. You know why? Because of his redesign. I would love to put Akuma in World Warrior status as far as visuals, but I can't because he is a flower. The redesign, the one that barely anybody plays. But I think all the animations and moves that Akuma has, damn, they're great looking. Dude, uh, if, if you take out the weird lion mane aspect of him, he's really damn cool looking. But his hair is dumb. I agree. His hair is dumb. So he has to go under great because he, he would have been one of the best in the game, but he's got a weird redesign. I think Dan also goes down as a great as well. I think he looks really good, but I think a, a few aspects of his uh, of his visuals come across as a little mo -cappy, right? A little mo -cappy in some ways, which I don't think is, like I said, specifically bad. It doesn't remove it, but he he's a great looking, super referential character in many ways. But do I think he's like one of the best looking of better looking than any of these characters? I do not. I think he does very good. Let's switch to, to not fill out this middle ground. Let's switch to some of the other sides. Let's let's immediately switch to some of the the polar opposite ends of this spectrum. And I, I don't know if anyone is going to disagree with me here. Just what were they thinking with this guy? Just what? I, I, I frequently forget this character is in this game. Frequently forget that he's even here at all. Yeah, I don't know, man. And I would really like to put Alex really high up because I think his animations in game look really good, but he has some, he's got some weird hunch about his character design and he's got this, his legs look weird and shit. It's like there's some funky torso jank that I have to put him under good, even though like his power bombs and everything is super satisfying, right? Ridiculously satisfying. I think there's a lot of elements of his, his gameplay that look really damn cool. I think him like warming himself up. That's cool. That's really cool. Uh, however, I think Geef looks rough in this game. I think Geef has in, in Street Fighter V. I think Geef has always looked like a like a toy that's about to topple over. I really do. Like to me, to me, Geef, in in terms of his visual, his character visuals, just in terms of his character, I think is fine. But a lot of Zangief and the way all of his attacks look, I think is substantially worse looking than Street Fighter IV. Yeah, I I I really don't like the way Geef moves in this game personally. 
So that I might get some contention on that. I might get some contention on that. You're allowed to like him. I'm not saying I'm not saying you are uh, liking the character and thinking he looks great is is wrong. But I think he, in terms of one of the some of the original roster, came out as a bit disappointing looking to me. And you know what? Guess who I also put down there with him? Outside of Ken's goofy face, right? Outside of Ken's goofy hair. That's one thing. My big issue with Ken is that why does this dude look like he's four foot nothing when he's standing next to other characters that are like normal height? Why does he look proportionally like a small guy just just scaled up, right? Is it just me or does Ken look short and be uh, and sort of look super stumpy with all of his moves? I can't, it's hard to describe, right? It's hard to describe like the way they either posed him or the way that his legs are because Ken uses a lot more leg in his attacks in this game. There's a weird proportional thing that they got going on with his legs and his body that I just do not like. Like it has always rubbed me the wrong way between the visuals in this game. I truly think this is one of the funkiest looking Kens has ever looked in fighting games. I really think that. Even though there's some shots of him that look like okay, but the truth is for the most part, this is like my favorite friggin' Street Fighter character. Like who is this guy? Who, who is this man? Anyway, moving on. I gotta put another character into the okay category because I feel about the same way as him as I do about Ken and Parts of the character animate pretty well and are like weird and quirky, but for the most part, what the fuck is Nikali? What the, what even the hell? I don't know, man. To me, Nikali, I have crazy hair. Like that is, that is like my character. It feels like a missed potential sort of thing, you know? Nikali and V-Trigger is good. Right, yeah, that's actually true. When he switches to V-Trigger, he becomes technically a more interesting character visually too. But yeah, he felt like a replacement for Blanca until they added Blanca. And guess what? Blanca's pretty good. <laughs> I'd actually put Blanca under... I, I like looking at Blanca more than I like looking at fucking Nikali in this game. Way more. Yeah, I would, I would rank Blanca higher than Nikali. For sure. And you know who also is a great, brilliant redesign, right? Whoever came up with this shit deserves a raise and possibly put into Capcom executive management. But the execution and the way they move is so awkward and weird looking that it doesn't make any sense to me. To the point where this could have been world warrior status, but instead is just a good as Cody. Jeez, man. Whoever's idea it was to make Cody the mayor, whoever's idea it was to make Cody like go through a transformative process into just, into just being a prisoner and out of prison to actually have him go through this crazy transformation where he's like cleaning up his act and shit. That's a great fucking idea. That's a great idea. However, he's the weirdest like, Like, what the fuck is this guy doing? What the, what am I looking at? His, he, he moves so weird. His visuals, when he's actually doing things is so, there's a couple of like cool flourishes here and there, but I'm like, what is this character doing? Like what, why is he moving so weird? The suit is tight, I guess so. If the suit is tight, he shouldn't be moving that way. He should not be moving that way. And then uh, I might get some flack on this one. I don't think Kage. <laughs> I'm a Shoto lover at heart. I like weird and crazy Shotos. I genuinely do. Um, I don't know what they were doing with Kage. I don't know what the hell his horns and his weird. Why does he have Dan's Street Fighter 4 moves? Why is he even more stumpy than Ken? It, he, to me, Kage just comes across as a diet evil Ryu what he really feels like. And he has a lot of Evil Ryu moves too. Ta yeah, talk about one of the characters I really wanted to see what they were gonna do with him and how crazy it would be. And then he comes out and I'm just like, yeah, nope, this is definitely not the character that's gonna bring me back to Street Fighter V. That's for sure. I have another pick for a you lose. I have another pick for the lowest tier. Um, I think it's Falk. 
I, I would I, I think Falk is actually kind of a fun character um, to play, but I think the way she looks and the way she animates in this game is she looks like she comes from a different game. She she's so brutally middle of the road, right? So brutally middle of the road that nothing really is interesting to me about any of her. Yeah, I really dislike Falk. I'm like, what, what, this, what, what are we doing here? And I'd honestly also put right above that Ed. I don't think Ed looks absolutely god awful because some of his animations do look really cool. I do like the fact that they put a Steve Fox sort of character in there. I wouldn't put Ed as, as low as Fang and stuff like that. But what a weird looking character. Ed's idol pose is so... Oh, I know. His stance is very weird. Don't have much to say about Ed. There's a lot of fucking characters in this game, man. You know who I think might also go into a great is Guile. I think Guile looks great in this game. Guile looks great. They did a really good job. Uh, I can't... There's not even much to say. Like, Guile just looks great. I think he can look a little weird in some situations, right? A little, a little awkward in some situations, just visually. But I think he's... I think he looks great generally and i think he also goes with e honda as far as looking pretty good i think funny enough e honda they were like okay we're gonna take this character that barely anyone plays in street fighter all right we're gonna do it and we're gonna make him crazy we're gonna make e honda friggin nuts so i think e honda did a they did a really good job on e honda and guile which are you know world warriors that came later and weren't in the initial roster and they did a pretty good job so much so let's start rapid firing here i think sagat also goes up here too i don't think sagat's one of the greatest looking characters in the game but i think it's one of the best versions of sagat has ever looked i like his uh the tiger redesign now some of the ways sagat moves is a little is a little stiff Right, is a little odd. So, I, I, but I like so many other aspects of him that I think he's quite cool. I think they did a really good job on him. His kick's got a lot of impact. Yeah, he feels in. They did in stature with him. Like his proportions feel better than he ever has. Uh, way better than something like Street Fighter Four, for example. I think Sakura also goes down in like the okay category. However, I love her redesign. I really like Sakura's redesign in this game. But once again. Why does she look so weird? And why do all of her moves look worse than they do in Street Fighter 4? Right? I think I think a lot of aspects of her just came across as sort of weird when you see her fight. And when you actually see her like engage in battle, she just looks kind of awkward. I think it's once again, one of those things where it's like kind of like Kage, where it's like, they have a lot of these things that sort of come together uh, that seem like they're gonna be really cool. But when you actually see her engaging in battle, she comes across as one of like the horror looking visual characters in the game. I remember distinctly, there was a moment where people were really hoping that Street Fighter V was gonna turn a new leaf and the game was going to turn around and like really impress us all. And then Abigail's trailer showed up at Evo and everyone was like, the fuck was that? He's a car? <laughs> no, just no. We don't need a vroom vroom. That's all I need to say is vroom vroom. Uh, Poison definitely goes under great. I think they did a great job with Poison. I think also Karen looks great in this too. Ah, actually, I might put Karen under good. You think Karen is great? I think she's sort of like middle. I think she's like middle of the road, right? Mm, I, yeah, I think she's fine, right? I think good is, I think good fits Karen in this, uh, in this specific situation. And you know who also I think is just good and really doesn't like blow my mind in any way is Vega. Vega looks good. You know who I also think just looks good? Urf. I think Laura goes under the good as well. I'm definitely not gonna go any high. Uh, she's definitely not great. Kenny, don't call me. I'm not picking that up. It's better. You better have a really good reason. Oh, I thought it was just, you just gotta put her higher on the list. No, no, you have to give me a really good reason. Right now, just gotta go higher. No, no, you have to give me a really, really good reason. Her hair looks awesome, and she's got a good color scheme, and the chat knows I'm right. Uh, thanks, Kenny, for the insight. Uh, I think Seth goes under great. Uh, I, I think switching Seth between being like a, a, a male construct robot android thing to 
starts being like female to like somewhat like androgynous, like doesn't really have a stable like identity in that way is kind of like interesting. Uh, just in terms of like, whoa, like what the hell did they, you know what? Uh, Seth's moves look really cool too. You know what? I'd probably put Seth up here. Yeah, this is a character that I absolutely had zero interest with and is probably one of the worst Street Fighter characters I think they could do. But thinking back on it, thinking back on like the, the, the flip that they had in the trailer and then the move changes and how much more interesting and all the crazy like JoJo references and all this kind of stuff and the animations look great. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put Seth under highest tier. You know what? Putting Seth under highest tier. Uh, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. Man, Colleen is the most okay character I've ever okayed in my okay friggin' life. Colleen is the most okay-ish, okay-ish character ever. Like, okay. <laughs> you know, okay. All right. Okay. I think Ibuki goes under good. Uh, weird face aside, I think Ibuki's Buji no Jutsu animations and all the little flourishes that she has with all of the ninja stuff is pretty cool. I think they've she's actually a very well animated like ninja character. I think they did a really damn good job. But there's some parts of her that definitely come across as weird. She's like one of those characters where half her animations are dope and the other half is like, that's weird. That looks a little odd. Uh, to me, she goes under under good. The schoolgirl outfit is dumb. Oh shit, you're right. Yeah, I'm, I'm not thinking about her default costume. Uh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, skins don't count. Otherwise, Akuma would be S S tier as hell. Okay, this is my very valuable last list. MSF, S rank, A rank, C rank, F rank. There's big drop offs here. Where's B? There's no B. There is no B. I think Lucia's great. Yeah, I think she does. I think she's great. I don't really have much else to say about her, but I think she's a great, uh, a unique character to Street Fighter with her redesign. I think her moves look pretty cool. Cup of Kalfi. I like the old kicking her, kicking fireballs and stuff and the way she moves around the screen. She's cool. But I do think that she's definitely a nice addition to Street Fighter, right? She's one of those characters where it's like, mm, that's a good, that's a good call. That's interesting. I never played as, actually that, hmm. The more she's up here, the more I'm thinking she's down here. I feel better about that. You know what? I feel better about that already. I already feel better about that. And I think it's really unfair to uh, to rate Rose or Oro or Akira because they are not out yet. And we haven't even really played with Rose ourselves. Gil looks great in this game. And I think they, I think weirdly enough, the, uh, the funky hair-ism of Street Fighter V, the hair problem that this game's characters have actually isn't an issue on Gil. It's not an issue on Gil. His hair looks really cool when it's doing this big up hair thing though. He's still a weird design, right? He's still weird. Uh, and that's why I can't really put him up there because he visually looks really sick when he's doing all of his stuff, the elbow and chariot tackle and all that stuff. I'm like, damn, this is, he looks great, man looks really good but he definitely doesn't come together in the same way that Yurian does definitely doesn't he's got a lot of those elements but his design is fucking whack and they really didn't update his design at all he traditionally remained the same gill that was in Street Fighter 3 yeah you know what I'm actually more comfortable even doing this Ken really pisses me off this is a personal issue chat this is a personal thing after reviewing this this is a personal thing here why why, why, someone was really, someone must have really hated Ken. Like, what the hell, dude? We're just gonna make this character look dumb. What's going on? Who is this guy? This is my Street Fighter V visual tier list. And like I said, this game on its highest level has some of the best looking 2D animated characters I've ever seen. Some really, really expert class uh, character animations and design that I think is exemplary and shows off how talented Capcom can be as a company. And then they also have some really good ones, some ones that are okay, and then a lot of others that are just like, yo, what? Who made these? Wait, what? Like, who? Who made these characters? Like, wait, why do they look so awkward? 
What's going on? Not in order. No, I, I think this would be a long time to actually organize these here. But once again, it sort of adds to my point that the issue with Street Fighter V is that there's a lot of consistency issues in terms of the way some characters look. Some stuff looks damn amazing, and then other stuff just looks so weirdly bad. Weirdly bad.